Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yolanda and I am a zero base cash budgeter. Um, in this video, I am going to be doing my weekly check-in or bi-weekly check-in. I didn't do a video last week because I didn't do much spending. So this is actually two weeks of funds that I'm going to pull out and I wanted to just pull this out before I get my next paycheck so that I am not falling behind. Um, so let's just get into it. I'm going to start with the larger ones. I also listed on here, like I did in my previous check-in, the my savings challenges that I do daily. And I'll pull that money out of my personal envelope. But I'm going to do that last, just in case I don't have enough funds in my personal envelope. I do think I do because I didn't spend much this week. Um, but that's going to be last. So first, I'm going to start off with um, the 10th, my eating out. And I'll total those up as we go. So I think I only ate out once and that was from Panera, but I'm just gonna quickly go through it. It's 52. And I highlight as I go through. Just that one time I might have to come back to this envelope because I um I think I overspent in my alcohol envelope so I'm just gonna pull the money from here but I'm gonna take out $50 and that's from just from eating out I'll either pull out the two dollars from my because I don't have change in here. I'll pull the two dollars, and I don't want to break a twenty. I'll pull the two dollars from my personal envelope, and and I'll just put it back onto my card for that. These are challenges. This is the evens and odds, and the um, and the save a day challenge. Um, I'm going to I actually. I am gonna break that twenty. Because this is an online order and you guys know that I'm doing the, every time I place an order online, I take $5 from that envelope and I put it into my savings challenge envelope. And at the end of the year, I'll just decide what to do with the money that I put into my savings challenge envelope. So this $20, I'm going to break in my personal envelope. Personal envelope, which is my spending. Or you know what? I think I've changed in here. No. Spinning. Spinning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see what I have in my challenges. I just want to get the exact amount. I'm just going to take the 20 back. Okay, so you may change for my eating out envelope. This 
So now I'm taking out 52 and then I'll take the $5 and I'm just going to take this $5 bill and that's going to go into my online online spending challenge and I'm just going to put the rest back. So now for my eating out, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 113. And I don't usually have this much in my eating out, but you guys know that I roll over all of my envelopes. And I just accumulated this much. I'm trying not to eat out as much. And I don't stuff the money, as much money in it. So I'm just glad I only ate out once. And it was a hefty amount. $52 is a lot to eat out, but I, I didn't just purchase for myself. So that's for my eating out challenge. I'm going to highlight that $5. And all of these that I'm skipping, you see, is my um, save the day in the even odds, in evens and odds challenge. So that I, don't, I, can only, I only have to do it once. Um, next is Amazon. Amazon and that's for pets from Amazon pets and that's going into my challenge envelope Amazon monthly and I'm just taking out that five dollars and I highlight that now for clothing is in my long-term sinking funds binder. And it's only $6.06 .06 because I had a gift card on Amazon. So I purchased a sweater and I ended up having to pay the difference. So $6 for a sweater is not bad because I had that gift card. And I only have a 10. I'm going to take $2 back and just put the 10. And I'll just highlight that. Hold on. Keep forgetting that $5 bill is still going. Even though it was only $6, I'm still going to take the $5 out of this envelope to put into my savings challenge. And that's it for clothing. Um, now for holiday, I did have to buy a late Christmas gift and that was $50. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna take it out of gifts or if I'm gonna take it out of holiday. Um, Let's see what gifts has. Now I'll take it out of holiday because the hundred dollars that I have in this was for New Year's. And so I'm just going to take out a $50 bill. And so beauty was also an online order. Let's see, I think I'm missing that. Oh, I also used my gift card. So I used the gift card to purchase a sweater and I also used it to purchase um, a top coat for my nail polish. And I'm still going to take the, the $5 from that beauty envelope because I did place an online order even though I did end up using my gift card but I still want to be consistent with that. I only have $4 here, so I'm just going to pull the, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pull the $5. So I'll take $5 back and I'll use that. And the same thing happened with pets, which is only $5 and it says Amazon challenge. I can't remember what I purchased from them. It might've been dry food and I used the gift card, I think the gift card was $50, and then I had another gift card for $30. And whatever the difference was, it was multiple orders. I just put $5 here so that I can remember to take it out of my envelope. 
but I want to take it out of the envelope for the actual category. Um, next would be Chewy, and that's my pet food. Um, let's see. I'm going to take the money out of my pet's fund. And for Amazon Chewy, it came up to, not for Amazon, for Chewy, it came up to $59. And I'm going to take out $60. And I think I had a one here. No, I don't have a one here. So I'll just take out $60. And that's going to go back to my card. And then I also, since it was an online order or an app order, it was $5. And I'm going to take out a 10 and put in the 5 And that covers my first week so that wasn't that week wasn't too bad um oh no there's another one so there are a couple of uber charges um, because I kept having to go back and forth and it's unusual for me to have to go back and forth on multiple uh, use multiple uber trips but this week was a little bit strange so I I'm just gonna total that up and you guys know that I roll over whatever's left in my transportation envelope into my uber envelope which is why it's separate but i don't regularly stuff this envelope unless i know that there's going to be a large expense so let's see i think it was four trips for 841 times so this is one times three and that was $25 and I had one more because I had a doctor's appointment plus 23 plus. so I'm taking out 70 and I don't have enough in here so let's see 10 20 30 40 45 46 47 so minus 47 so I'm missing $23. I'm just gonna put that there. And I'll take the remainder out of here, which has $25. And I'll take the $2 back. And here was my transportation envelope. Okay, so that covers that transportation. Um, let's make sure there's nothing else. No, so these are just challenges left on this page. Now we're going back to the next page. Um, so groceries. Groceries was 130. And that's one, 20, and 30. And so I'll left in groceries, I have 150, 220, 40, 55. So 255. Um, it looks like I have another groceries expense. So I spent $32.36 on Amazon to buy juice. And I'm just going to take that out now. So I'll take out $33, I think was left. Let's see. I don't have $33. I'm going to take out the $30. And since it was an Amazon online order, I'm just going to take out the $5 bill. And I'll highlight the two. And 
have another charge for five dollars from Amazon. I'm gonna take back 10, 15, put in the 20. Okay, and that should be it for groceries. I'm um, just gonna quickly go through. Yes, but I might have to come back to this envelope because I, I think I might have overspent in my alcohol envelope, so we'll see about that. CVS was six dollars and I also had a doctor's appointment which had a copay of seven dollars seventy dollars so I'm gonna take seventy five seventy six dollars if I have it out of my medical envelope and that should be in here my short-term sinking funds and I'm gonna take out the hundred dollars and I'll put twenty five dollars back twenty. And I'll just forgive myself for that missing dollar that's supposed to be in here. And that's the two. Um, next will be, and it's in my long-term sinking funds, a consult. And I'm gonna take that out of my future envelope and I hope I have $50 in it. Um, yes, I have exactly $50 in it. Okay, finally for the last week. So this is a Chewy order, the 125 is a Chewy order, but Amazon was out of stock in the pet's food, so I ended up having to use my monthly Amazon subscriptions to place an order for Uber, for, for Chewy. And it might be a little bit more than what I have in this envelope, but I'll just pull the remainder out of my personal if that is the case. Um, but I think I have enough, so that's, because I'm also gonna pull out some more Amazon. So I'm taking out 125 total these up plus 29 plus 29 and that's for the chewy order but then they had some items and so you'll see amazon monthly we have 41 56 plus Sixteen fifteen plus sixteen sixty five plus forty five oh three four, and that is two forty four. And I hope I have that much in here. So one hundred fifty two hundred twenty forty and fifty. I definitely did have enough. That was for here. And I'm taking out 150 because I'm going to put the 10 here and take out the five. So 145 is going back on my card and the $5 is going towards my savings challenge. And now I get to get rid of these. I'm gonna highlight the five. And oh, there was something else. An Amazon pets order. Two of them, so let's see, 13 plus 15, $28. And I'm gonna take off 40. ten dollars back for the Amazon monthly subscriptions they put multiple charges and I just as I go through my card I make sure that I'm not overcharged or duplicate charge for anything and that's when I fill out my chart so I just have my phone and I also have my chart when I'm filling it out 
um, to separate them and I'm gonna take out five ten dollars and that's going into my savings challenge because that was two two charges and that is it for pets so I do have some left over for the month for this order for this month for the Amazon monthly now we're going to go back to my first binder and these are just minor charges toiletries and laundry and so i know that those are in here so i can put away my short-term sinking funds so laundry i am taking out twenty dollars out this five ten dollars and I'm putting it into five because this was an online order not an actual visit to the laundry and then I am taking out last for this was toiletries and for toiletries I'm taking out twenty nine dollars I don't have any singles in here so I'm just gonna take out the thirty and I might want to break this up so let's see break of one of the hundreds so I'm gonna put that back so we'll do 20 40 60 80 90 100 And let's see, do I have another five here? I don't have another five. Do I have two fives here? I don't have two fives. Oh, here's what I'll do. I'll take a 10 and I'll take this five and I'll put it here. 220s. There we go. So now this one has 95 in it, 195. And I believe that is it for spending. Let's see. Is it that one? No, there isn't. So I did order some printables off of very sh various shops off of Etsy, I actually have to go back to my pets envelope. I forgot to take out the $5 for the Chewy order. So I placed a couple of orders off of Etsy for some printables for different shops. I think I ordered from D versus Debt and I also ordered from Row Budgets, but I don't think I have the amount that I spent um, in my support small envelope um, because I've been taking the money instead of stuffing this, I've been taking the money and putting it into my planner challenge. So this one only has $5 and I'm just going to take that one out and put it towards my online savings challenge. And that'll get rid of this one. And then I'll just pull. Um, it was three shops. It was D versus that robe budget. And I also ordered from the Mom Life Studio. Um, and I just ordered printables because I didn't need envelopes at this time. But maybe, maybe when I finish the planner challenge, I'll just place an order for different shops um, to support these. But I did want to purchase the printables that I purchased from them, just to show a little bit of support. For those channels and for those Etsy shops and I might just I'll just probably pick a 
every every time that I get paid, every um bi-weekly, I'll just choose a shop and I'll purchase like a principal or something like that. Because I don't need a physical item at the moment, so but I do want to continue to support. Or maybe I'll do like a Snapchat or for one of these channels. I'm not really sure yet. Um, but it was just a small item. And I'll pull the money from these three because it wasn't in my support small envelope from my actual envelope. And it came up to 375 It came up to 1035 and I'm just gonna pull ten dollars. And that goes back. Okay, and that is it for all of my expensive spend expense all the expenses that I had spent throughout the week. I'm gonna go in and do my savings challenges and Let's start with the evens and odd because that's only, I'll just go through it. So one, I'll highlight the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's $9. So that's actually seven dollars going into my evens and odds because they're two dollars for the save the date for the two sundays and we'll just do two four six eight ten twelve and 14. So I'm taking out $21 and let's see, a 10, a 20, and a one. I'm gonna put this aside. So I'm putting $21 into my evens and odd savings challenges savings challenge envelope and let's see what I'm putting into online orders for this two weeks I'm putting in 10 20 30 40 50 60 65 70 70 dollars and as opposed to pulling this from my savings from my personal envelopes when I do challenges I'm pulling it from the actual envelope in which I spent the order from so if i ordered pet food i'm going to take it out of my pets envelope if i order i don't know eating out online i'm going to take it out of my eat and out envelope and that way i can control what's going into here as opposed to kind of like when i'm doing the ones and fives and i just pull them out of each envelope i figured i wouldn't miss five dollars from those envelopes every time i place an order online um so now let's do the save the day Twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty, thirty-five, forty-one, forty-eight, fifty-three, seven. That's it, fifty-seven. And let's see, I have 20, 30, 40, 50. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna take this 100 back and that goes into my spending envelope. And this goes into my save the day envelope.
and that is it i know i have to do my water challenge but i'm gonna wait until tomorrow so i probably might just pull this fun pull the funds off cameras for my water envelope challenge and i think i only have to put in five days but five dollars but i'm not 100 percent sure i gotta check my tracker um but yeah that was it thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna take this money and i'll just do a quick count of it for what i spent And this is two weeks of spending. And what I'm putting back on or to using to pay off my credit card, I'm paying back 100, 200, 300, 400, 50, 500, 50, 600, 50, 70, 90, 510, 530, 550, 570, 610, 620, 630, 640, 650, 660. 60, 670, 680. So 680. I hope I did that right. Let's see. It's 400, 500, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 50, 2, 3, 20, 30, sorry, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yes, that was right. So 660. 960 <laughs> is going back on my card to pay off to pay off my credit card for the what i spent this last two weeks so guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up um please consider subscribing to this channel um my next video is going to be my cash stuffing video for my next paycheck um i get paid bi-weekly so this is my second paycheck of january and thanks for watching bye